Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's episode, we're going to talk about what is a Privacy or Beneficia or PAB here in Quebec. And I'm going to share you my experience and the requirements in order for you to study the program. So stay tuned. So what is a PAB or Privacy or Beneficia? In Quebec, we use a lot of terms. We use sometimes called orderly, PAB, nursing aid, nursing assistant, or nursing attendant. So you'll be asking, what are the jobs as a PAB? As a PAB, we carry out various tasks which include, first, encouraging and stimulating the autonomy of seniors and vulnerable individuals. Second, providing assistance with eating and drinking. Third, assisting clients in moving about or accompany them as they move around. Fourth, using techniques to enhance client comfort, sleep and rest. Fifth, providing clients with moral support. Sixth, ensuring the resident's well-being and safety. Aside from those daily activities as a baby, we also accompany our residents, clients, or patients to the laboratories if they have an appointment. A baby can work in different settings, for example, in the hospital, in the rehab, in the CLSC, in the private and health care agencies, or even at home. So what are the admission requirements in order for you to study as a baby? You are eligible for admission if you meet the following criteria. First, you have earned your secondary three credits in language of instruction, second language in mathematics, or hold an attestation of equivalence of secondary studies, or have successfully completed the general development test without the specific prerequisites, or you have relevant experience related to this program of study, and you should be at least 18 years of age, and you should be a Canadian citizen or a permanent resident. If you are not a Canadian citizen or a permanent resident here in Canada, you can also study as a PAB, however, it's going to be more expensive. And if you are a permanent resident or a Canadian citizen, you can apply for a loan and bursary. If you're a registered nurse like me in the Philippines or any other country, you can apply for the RAC program, which will only last for about three months. But for me, I've studied for six months plus two months of clinical stage or clinical experience. If you want to study as a PAB, just follow the link in the description below and register. If you want to study as a PAB right now, there are new programs available. The first one is the Institutional and Home Care Assistance, which is 30 hours per week, and it will last for about 870 hours with 58 credits. And as far as I know, there's only one school that caters right now, which is at Shad Health and Business Center, which is located at 1000 Old Orchard Avenue, Montreal, Quebec, H4A, 3A4. And the contact details is on the screen. The second new program was created by the government to answer the shortage of the pay beats. The name of the program is Support for Assistive Care in Long-Term Care Centers, which will last for about 12 weeks. And the unit that you will earn is for about 25 units with 375 hours, which means that the government will pay you or will give you an allowance in order for you to continue with the school. And then the government will decide which institution that needs help and you will be redistributed. The salary of a baby ranges from $20.55 per hour to a maximum of $22.35. For the annual salary, it ranges from $40,000 to $50,000. However, please be advised that the annual salary depends on the number of hours that you work in a week. When you study as a baby, you will learn a lot of things such as the PDSP, the first aid, and the CPR. For the PDSP, it's like a proper body mechanics on how to transfer your resident, client, or patient from bed to wheelchair, from wheelchair to bed, or from bed to stretcher. And also, when it comes to your cards, 
you have to renew it every two years because it has an expiry. All right, so if you're interested to study as a KB, I'm going to put all the details on the description below. Before we end the video, I would like to give a shout out to all the KBs, orderlies, nursing aide, nursing assistant, nursing attendant out there. Guys, you're one of the most important part of the team, so keep doing what you do best. Alright, that's it for today and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you again soon.